Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Chris Featherstone here with another episode of Off the Script. I'm with my man JTG. Uh, last JTG, time we talked JTG about the God. <laughs> yeah, we talked about we talked about uh, uh, SummerSlam uh, 2009. Today we're gonna go off the script with talking about the end of JTG's WWE career. So. Uh, as, as popular as he is and was, and, and Crime Time was at the time as one of the most hottest, most popular tag teams, he had a heel turn as a singles and did some NXT work as a pro. And uh, the last year of his WWE career, for some reason, Vince McMahon just uh, didn't understand how valuable and much of a gem he is uh jtg was to the company and had him just job out the last year of his of his two career matches. Two yeah matches. i won two matches in <laughs> one year man that's uh that's that's quite that's quite pathetic uh as far as just their bookings concerned was the writing on the wall at that time as far as just what you felt like did you thought that you had a chance i know that you were pitching some things but the the, the many times like 10 times when we talked already you said that they just <laughs> fell on deaf ears, deaf ears mostly the time your last year what were you really what was your mindset at in wwe um that was like that was, that was a few years ago i do remember when i was on nxt though during that mm -hmm. time i was still very optimistic um I was, uh, that's why I changed, uh, switched the gear. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, I was still, uh, I knew there had to be a change, but my, my direction was all over the place. Mm -hmm. So if I could go back, I, if I could go back, um, it wasn't necessarily my, my physique. Cause I was always in great shape and I was always a great worker. Mm -hmm. I think it will have to be, um, my, Definitely my look. You know, I switched to the trunks, but what was my character? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What was my character? Mm -hmm. What was the the motivation? They 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 tried to, they threw in um what's her name? Alicia Fox. Is she still mm -hmm. with the company, by the way? Uh, I think she had like a altercation when she was intoxicated or something like that like a year or two ago and oh, wow. something happened there yeah i'm not uh, anyway, I, 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 I know that she'll, <laughs> she'll you know she she was there for uh the raw um legends night that she's advertised for it so. oh she was there oh wow. good for her she, yeah yeah but i don't want to get sidetracked but um they, they were like we, we're gonna i see that you want to you know switch to the jeans to the trunks mm -hmm. um but you just can't do it you, know, you have we have to give you a reason and it did something on NXT. It was kind of like light. It was like okay, but after that, it was just still. They. I, I remember the, talking to Pat Patterson, um, R.I.P. Um, he was like, um, "You had a good match. You're a good hand. Like you're you're, you're very reliable. Um, you just have to, you know, you have to give them a reason to put you on, on TV on the mm -hmm. on the A show. You have to give them a reason." And um, I remember during that time when I was uh, on NXT, that made me stand out even more because I kept asking for the mic. Yeah. And um, I, that was one of the best things I did because Vince started noticing me a little bit more. And um, he noticed that I was good on the mic. I was very comfortable on the mic and I was having fun with it. And uh, I don't think that, that wasn't enough to <laughs> get me to the... Yeah. It got me noticed, but it didn't get me enough to get uh on the uh main on the main on on Raw back on Raw. Yeah, yeah. And at that time, NXT was still. It, it, I mean, it really was a developmental looking the kind of kind of feel to it. It's yeah. its own brand now. I mean, the the push is its own brand. Was Triple H at the helm at that time, or was it? I mean, nah. who was at the helm at that time? Um, it was still pretty much. Triple H had nothing, had nothing to. Not, I'm not gonna say he had nothing to do with NXT when I was there, but um, it was it, it it wasn't what it is today. It was more of a. To me, it felt like a show. It was something to do before the main show started. Get the people, mm -hmm. get the people uh, ready for a Roy the SmackDown was it? I can't remember exactly which show it was, but it was just like a a warm up for the main show, mm -hmm. and I took it as an opportunity to get my personality over and and to to um, let them know 
whoever like whoever the, the powers that be like look you know crime time wasn't just a coincidence like i have personality i have charisma you just have to give me something like give me give me a storyline to work with yeah um and you know i i think i i did that to an extent but again uh i have to take some accountability i didn't have the, uh I know I wanted to change, but the direction was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You did switch to the trunk to that time, and it was a yeah. different feel to it. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it was still it, – it's kind of hard to shake off such a – Yeah, it, it's really hard to shake off such a, such a glaring and such a popular character, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as, as JTG, Crime Time JTG. It's really hard to shake that off. Same thing with Shad, you know, during his time when it, when he had the heel turn. Yeah, I was, you know, was so used to Shad and JTG when they did the angle between y'all. It was just kind of oh. like, oh no, I don't want this. I want, I want yeah. crime time back, you know. So, yeah, what, what as far as as far as NXT is concerned, do you remember or do you recall uh, just? The, the the switch from the pros and the rookies to kind of actually its own type of show, its own kind of like I I, I do recall show. when um as rookies started to get eliminated, um they and it was it was more veterans than <laughs> than rookies. Um they kind of just went off the off the rail. Mm -hmm. And it just it was just at that point it didn't it wasn't more of a uh, who's the winner, it was just just being entertained, just being entertained. Yeah, because yeah. they were doing the the bar barrel contests and all time and the promo challenges. Oh, that's a, yeah, bunch of nonsense, <laughs> and it, it just drifted off into a totally different direction. Yeah, I I agree. It was it was much better with, you know, the first two seasons were good. You know when um, who won the first one? Daniel, no, Daniel Bryan didn't win, did he? No, uh, it was. I know that. Uh, I think Oksana won it one year. Uh, or or uh, no, it was. Um, it was uh, a male and a female. Caitlin won it, right? Uh, or, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, and uh, who won it? Uh, oh, uh, EC3 won it one year, didn't he? Bateman? Did he? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. It was, who, won, who won the year that uh, they. Um, NXT, they all banded together and destroyed the ring. Oh, and uh, Daniel Bryan choked up the ref and got fired. Shoot, was <laughs> did Barrett win? Did Barrett win that year? Who? Uh, Wade Barrett? Did he win that year? I, I, have to, I, have to I check think so. I think Wade might have won. Yeah, I think he. I yeah. think he might have won. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he it's won. Kind of like American Idol. Like you, like who won the first? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He he won. Um, Wade Barrett, Caval, Caitlin, and Jody Curtis. Oh yeah, Caval. Caval did win, right? Yeah, yeah. And then he won. Wow. Then he he then he had an opportunity to um, go for a title. I think he chose the Intercontinental title or something like that on SmackDown or something yeah. like that. It was just yeah, they really they really jacked up low key. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I yeah. Fired him on like on Christmas Eve or something like that. Did they really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, was, it was like damn, y'all uh, ruthless. That kind of after the holidays. Wow. Yeah. How was it working with him? Who Caval? Yeah. Oh, he's um outside the ring, he's dope, and in and, and, and in the ring, he's uh you 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 already know you already seen what he's done in the ring. He's dope in the ring. He has his own style, he has his own personality. I really think he would have did great with like a urban ninja type of gimmick. Uh -huh. He would have reminded me of a ninja. Uh, so yeah. that would have been dope to see him in that uh with that theme, but yeah, still still him. You know, I don't want yeah. him to be a ninja with a mask on and you know. No. Right, right, right.